and welcome to Mrs. Palmer's Picks. I'm Mrs. Palmer and I'm going to read you a story. Today I'm at the Air Zoo in Kalamazoo, Michigan in their space exhibit. Um, this summer you may have noticed at your local library they're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the moon landing which was July 20th 1969. So I decided to come here and read some stories. Um, today we're going to read Earthrise, Apollo 8 and the photo that changed the world and it is by James Gladstone. 1968. It was a year of unrest. Many nations were at war. People around the world marched for peace, fairness, freedom. They struggled to find the best way to live together. Amid this conflict rose one shining moment, captured in a photograph, a picture that forever changed the way we saw ourselves and our world. The light was breaking through clear open skies. It was a perfect morning for a launch. The Saturn V rocket towered above the launch pad. The Apollo 8 spacecraft perched on top. Three astronauts, Frank Foreman, Jim Lovell, Bill Anders, walked toward the mighty metal ship that would whisk them far into outer space, farther than anyone had gone before. The Apollo 8 crew was going to the moon. Cars clogged the roads, spilling over the anxious onlookers. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Millions of people listened in on radios. They gathered around TVs. Could human beings really reach the moon? What would they see when they got there? There was sound like thunder, rumble and roar. The crowd stood their ground while all the ground shook. The Saturn V engines burst into life. We have liftoff. Gracefully, powerfully, the rocket climbed higher, faster, out of sight, pushing Apollo 8 into Earth orbit. Far above the crystal blue. Soon the time came to break free from Earth orbit. No one had ever done this before. The engine fired again, setting Apollo 8 on course for the moon. Four, three, two, light on, ignition, ignition. Mission Control watched the spacecraft speed on their screens. The numbers got bigger as the rocket raced faster. Then, just as planned, the Saturn V engine shut off and broke away from Apollo 8. Now the spacecraft was coasting on a human dream, speeding the crew off to another world. The farther they traveled, the more awesome the view. The astronauts saw the whole turning Earth, no countries, no borders, floating in the vastness of space. Everyone they loved was on that tiny blue planet, and it was shrinking, getting smaller each time they looked. On their third day out, the crew put on a show. They pointed a TV camera toward Earth. The picture, all crackling black and white, went out around the world. You are looking at yourselves from 180,000 miles out. There she is, floating in space. Everyone who watched was amazed by this mysterious sight. Soon after the broadcast, the astronauts arrived. The moon came into view. The spacecraft dipped into orbit, and the crew got to work taking pictures of the rocks and craters below. Later, back on Earth, scientists would study those images, searching for the best sites to land future missions. Look at that. Fantastic. It's gray, huh? Once, twice, three times around the moon, the crew's eyes were locked on the pocked and scarred lunar surface. The fourth time around, they all looked up. Look at that picture over there. There's the Earth coming up. Wow, is that pretty. Oh man, that's great! You got a color film, Jim? Hurry, quick, hurry up! Earth, a soft swirl of color, an oasis of life, was rising above the lifeless rock of the moon. Anders captured what they saw in a photograph. It was a picture of all of us to remember for all time. And there is the picture that they took. 
I hope you liked this story. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks. Bye.